Hi everyone! If you caught on our last video, we were having an issue with power portion of our earth block machine. We still haven't found out what's wrong with it, but you can kind of see what really happened last time. So, in theory, what would happen is, is you would just fill it down in there, close the lid, so it's locked. Well, did we pop a breaker? What happened? It did happen last, last time. time. So we are trying to figure it out if we, we are... Over current? Over current or over voltage? Yep. Flat line. Well. It's dead. Hold on, I'm turning it back up first. While the sun's not out bright. Turn it off, uh, get it to stop is by cutting all the power to the inverter. Okay. So what just happened is, is we tripped our inverter and our inverter, I believe the air is over voltage. So this is supposed to be 110 volt and 30 amp. So if I go and I plug it in right now, it'll work and I'll be able to run it down, which I'm gonna have to because the mold's at the top and we won't be able to close it like this. But what I've got to figure out is why we're tripping it. When this machine binds up under pressure, it, it seems like we're draw, either drawing too much voltage, which doesn't make too much sense to me. I may need some electrician help for that. Um, or my, my first guess is too much amperage, but it's reading too much voltage on there. So I gotta, there's some kinks that have to be worked out on this. So I don't know what's actually causing it to trip like that. Um, I think the best course of action is probably I need to find somebody that has a 120, 30 amp plug on their generator um, and actually try to run this and see if it has the issue. Because currently I'm not 100% sure that this brick machine is the problem or it's something with the inverter that's a problem like it's it's all unknown because there's so many variables so that's just something that i'm gonna have to troubleshoot in the future and i'll keep you updated if there's anything that i'll find out so i was thinking as we were recording earlier that i'm not overly worried because this electric motor is just powering this hydraulic pump so there should be some way to either a rewire this motor to 220 and lower amperage mm -hmm. and that would put less stress on our system mm -hmm. or this could be replaced to let's say a gas engine because i know there's a gas engine available for that and the other thought i had in my mind is using my skid steer has auxiliary hydraulics Mm -hmm. It may be possible that we turn, that we plug this into the skid steer's auxiliary hydraulics and bypass using this motor at all and use the power from the skid steer to run the hydraulics on this. So, but these are all things that we're going to have to try. My first, the first thing I'm going to do is try to get a hold of somebody that knows more about motors and one, figure out whether or not I've hooked up this thing right or not to figure out whether or not that there's a, a better more efficient less energy draw motor that we could put in its place or use a 220 one so we'll see so the video didn't go as smooth as i wanted it to but i think we've got enough information for what we know about this machine and where we're at so um hopefully you guys stuck with it till the end we appreciate it we appreciate all the love and support we've got from the channel and from the people around the community so thank you again and uh look forward to seeing the the fixes and the next videos and questions and answers coming out from this
Yes, there is an issue with machine, but we believe we can work all the kinks out and we are determined to still build a house with this. Thank you so much for watching. Like and comment. Have a great day.